In our top story, a man is airlifted to UMMC with a gunshot wound to the head. Stay tuned for details. It's time for your Vicksburg Daily News Brief, brought to you by your friends at Cook Tractor Company. Now's the perfect time to check out the complete line of zero turns at Cook Tractor Company on Highway 80. Visit them online at cooktractorco.com or give them a call today at 601-TRACTOR. Yazoo County firefighters fought a massive brush fire on hunting land just inside the Yazoo County line Monday night on Russellville Road. The fire was first reported by a power company truck that responded to the area for reports of a power outage and reported it to the authorities. Yazoo County firefighters reached out to Warren County firefighters for additional equipment to help with the fire. Other than firefighters from Warren County joined Yazoo County firefighters to assist in bringing the fire under control. Four historically black colleges and universities have received bomb threats this morning. Mississippi Valley State University, Alcorn, Jackson State, and Tougaloo College each confirmed the threats via social media. Campuses were swept for threats, but the claims were found to be unsubstantiated. This is the third time several HBCUs have received bomb threats this year. And in our top story, at 4.25 p.m. on Monday, a Warren County man walked under his own power into Merritt Health River region with a gunshot wound to the face. The Vicksburg Daily News spoke with Warren County Sheriff Martin Pace. We don't really know any uh, details at this time. Uh, Warren County Sheriff's investigators and Vicksburg police investigators have been here uh, for the last little bit at the emergency room at River Region Medical Center. We had an adult male came in on his own power. He walked into the emergency room, uh, has a gunshot wound to the head, uh, was not able to give or chose not to give uh, any details of what happened or even where it happened. Uh, he has been airlifted uh, to University of Mississippi Medical Center in Jackson, and as we have more information, we'll make that available. Uh, investigators from both the police department and the sheriff's department are working to try to put this together at this time. For more information on this or any of our other stories, check out our website at vicksburgnews.com. Be sure to check out the turnouts from the YMCA basketball games that happened last night with the senior prep boys and the junior prep girls games. Former Warren Central High School softball star Kaylee Hoft is now gearing up for her second season with Cahoma Community College. She's looking forward to playing shortstop and pitcher this season as she'll try to lead the team to more victories. Vicksburg natives Cameron Butler and Deja McGloucester shined in their collegiate basketball games last week. Butler plays for Capayo Lincoln Community College where he put up 15 points and McLaughlin plays for Mississippi Valley State University where she had 11. Good evening, Vicksburg. Tomorrow we have a 40% chance of showers with the high near 71 and the low near 53. Thursday we have up to a 100% chance of showers and thunderstorms with the high near 62 and the low dropping down to 30 degrees. And Friday will be mostly cloudy with the high near 38 and the low near 27 degrees. And now VDN would like to wish very happy birthdays to Jason Norfort, Laura Witherow, Brian T. Sessoms, Gary Licko, and Q. Sanchez. We hope that you have wonderful, wonderful birthdays and a very wonderful upcoming year.